hi all welcome to my channel in today's video we're gonna look into another nfo video in the small cap sector by principal mutual fund so principal mutual fund has started a new fund in the small cap sector um, on 22nd of april so it just started on monday and the nfo period will end on 6th may 2019 so this small cap fund is available in two uh, options which is step and auto trigger so we'll get in and see what is what is step what is auto trigger and detail review of this nfo so let's get started so as this image suggests small caps looks small but we fail to realize that while um, you know it may seem small but it has a potential to grow big um, i like this um, image a lot um, you know it is just showed what a small cap in just one picture so i, I really like this thing so principal small cap fund is an open-ended equity scheme predominantly investing in small caps stocks so why should one invest in small cap so present in large organized sectors and have potential to scale up so small cap uh, you know stocks basically are of many sectors like you can find small cap in most of the sectors and uh, which even uh, will be not available in large or uh, you know mid cap sectors so the sector uh, and has potential to scale up a lot and uh, present in sector where large and mid caps have limited presence as i told you all so the sectors will be more when compared to the large and mid caps so business uh, in emerging industries usually under researched and under owned by institutional investors so these stocks are basically under uh, researched and under owned by the institutional investors the dii's or the fii's so uh, introducing step and auto trigger facilities in principal small cap fund so we will um, you know as i told you all in the beginning itself this comes with two options one is step and the other one is auto trigger so we're going to go in detail and get to know what is step and what is auto trigger so step is uh, you know aims to protect against sharp falls in the market and auto trigger shifts appreciated amount to another fund so we'll you know go one by one and i will explain you all what is step in detail and what is auto trigger in detail so step means start smart trigger enabled plan so it is divided and deployed in four parts so first initial investment so basically uh, think we invest an amount of 1 lakh rupees so on allotment um, so after the nfo closes on 6th of may it will reopen on um, 15th uh, so after the allotment date what happens is the units of principal small cap fund allotted is a 25% and this remaining 75% is invested in the principal cap in the principal cash management fund which is the liquid fund that is for me and the first step is subsequent month what happens in the month of june when there is a three percent fall in the nifty small cap hundred index from the date of initial amount allotment or last business day of the month which means uh, if there is a three percent fall in the index which is a nifty small cap 100 index that is the benchmark for this fund uh, if three if there is three percent fall the next 25 percent will be allotted if not it will allot this 25 percent on the end of that month so the last working day of that month the first step which is june month's um, allotment will be allotted and even in june uh, even in july and august the same thing will happen further as it goes down by three percentage the um, next 25 percent will be allotted into the small cap fund if that three percent fall has not happened the amount that 25 percent for that month will be invested in the 
principal small cap fund on the last working day of that month so this is basically step which is smart trigger enabled plan so our money will be divided in four parts and each month after the date of allotment it will be invested in the small cap fund as 25% 25% each month and the rest the remaining amount will be parked in the liquid fund which belongs to principal uh, mutual fund itself and the fund name is principal cash management fund next is auto trigger so auto trigger is basically uh, the allotment nav as of uh, the allotment date is they have charged us 10 rupees 10 is the allotment nov uh, nav so what happens is we can trigger we can fix how much percentage we want so basically what happens is when the allotment nav uh, when it was allotted it was 10 rupees and after it has gained 15 percent which is uh, the appreciated in avb will be 11 rupees 50 paises so after this appreciation so basically after 15 percentage of appreciation this amount will be transferred to any of the principal fund of our choice so after it has gained 15 percentage that amount gets transferred to any other fund which uh, we want so any of our choice may be principal emerging fund or principal large cap fund so anything this um, appreciated amount this appreciated amount will get transferred to any of the principal fund of our choice so this is auto triggered so as um, you know our uh, NAV gets appreciated by 15 percent that amount will be transferred to any other fund of our choice we look into the fund details so the nature of the scheme it is an open-ended equity scheme investing in small cap stocks the investment objective of this fund is to generate long-term capital appreciation by predominantly investing in equity and equity related instruments of small cap companies however there is no assurance or guarantee that the investment of objective of the scheme will be achieved the benchmark as i told is nifty small cap 100 index so this is available in both direct and regular plans with uh, growth and dividend option so minimum application amount for a new investor is 5000 rupees for both dividend and growth option um, after all we are choosing for a step plan which is uh, smart trigger enabled plan the minimum um, amount is 25000 rupees because uh, you know that amount would be parked in the liquid fund and will be um, invested in the small cap fund as 25 percentage each for four months um, the SIP is a uh, minimum amount is 500 rupees and STP for the minimum amount is uh, 1000 rupees so in case you all have the money in the um, liquid fund or in any other fund and want to transfer that fund to your small cap fund through STP then minimum amount is 1000 rupees and um, regular withdrawal plan which is a SWP minimum is a 6 installment for 500 each so SWP would be 500 each per month and you all want to know what is SIP, STP and SWP I will give the link in the description below you all can check out that and what is exit load here um, there is no entry load but the exit load is if redeemed or switched on or on or before one year from the date of allotment it is nil for redemption or switch out of units up to 25 percent of the units allotted one percent on the redemption in excess of 25 percent of the limit stated above so redemption of units would be done on first in first out basis so and it is nil thereafter so if at all you are, you are going to redeem switch the units 
first 25 percentage is uh, it is not charged so after 25 percentage of units uh, it is charged one percentage in the first in first out basis and after that there is uh, no exit load charged and there are two fund managers in this uh, fund who is going to take care of this fund which is mr pvk mohan and the other one is mr siddharth so they are uh, the fund managers who are going to take care of this fund so principal small cap fund is an open ended scheme uh, for someone who is seeking long term appreciation and a fund that invests primarily in small cap companies the risk meter is moderately high here and um, if at all you are choosing step plan the amount will be parked in the principal cash management fund which is a liquid fund so that um, risk meter is low so principal small cap funds um, nfos started on monday which is 22nd of april and will be closing on 6th may 2019 and the allotment day is uh, 13th of may and it will get reopened for repurchase or sale from 15th may 2019 um, if at all you are planning for a small cap then you will have to be stay invested for a minimum of 7 to 10 years uh, so that is the time frame given for a small cap to grow and give us very good returns so if at all you are ready to invest in this fund for a lo very long period that is minimum of 7 to 10 years is required for us to earn good in a small cap fund so the time horizon is more here so only you all have that capability of waiting for more than 10 years and stay focused and say invested for more than 10 years then please go ahead with small cap funds if at all your time horizon is less please don't choose a small cap fund from my uh, this is one of my suggestion and um, of uh, looking at these options you all can choose any option but the uh, step plan uh, where we have to invest a uh, amount of 25000 as initial is a bit high so you all can choose from whichever option you all want if at all you all want to invest you all can go ahead in the nfo period or wait till the portfolio is released and then you all can check out for the stocks and then invest as uh, they have mentioned in this fund that small cap stocks are in a various sector so if you all want to invest please do your research and then start investing and this is not a recommendation from our side i just wanted to let you all know about the new nfo which is going on in the principal mutual fund and uh, as i always say start thinking and happy investing thank you for watching the video and do not forget to subscribe to my channel and hit the bell icon so that you get notified as we upload a new video all the information provided in this channel is only for general guidance and educational purpose don't consider this as a recommendation from our side please do your own research or seek a financial advisor prior to investing you can follow us even on facebook and twitter thank you